Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video, and welcome back to some more SSF. Now, I'm doing this late at night, because I didn't want to do it in the day, and I was kind of night, but I was literally asleep the entire day, because I was tired. But, um, yeah, so, oh, and also, my light isn't turned on, because I don't like the lighting with my light on. Instead, I have my Xbox on, it's giving me light, and I have some LEDs on my TV that's giving me light, so... Yeah, you can have some color in the background, some good lighting right here. So yeah, um, so I want to thank you. I want to thank Drizzer XTB. He's a fan of he's a Drizzer's fan account, and so yeah, um, so big shout out to him for submitting. Uh, wish he could have submitted on the uh, Discord Drizzer Discord. So if you guys want to, if you guys want to get get on the Drizzer Discord, then. Some maybe if Drusa goes live, then he will probably put the link to the Discord in the description. So we'll probably check in his streams once in a while. And without more talking, let's get right into it. All right. So this next, this first one is called Earth and Moon, and it was uploaded by Cool Three D World. Now, Cool Three D World is known for its weird and satisfying CGI uh, animations. Now, I haven't watched any of many of his videos, but I have watched a couple that are really popular and have millions and millions of views, and some of them are pretty weird. So, um, yeah, let's uh, get into it. The freak. bouncing like that what are those in the bag what the freak is happening dude what the freak <laughs> a baby okay there's another baby what the freak bro the matrix what is that is that a fan uh, of course it is of course it is okay. yeah it's a fan he fell through the bed now he's in a spider web. What the freak? We're watching. Oh god, we're a spider. I hate spiders. Woo! I hate spiders. Oh my god! Please end. Please end it. End it. <laughs> Bro, what the freak did I just watch? Baby glow invisible. What the freak did I just watch, bro? Like, what did I just watch? Alright, so this next one is called Parts. And service, I guess. Uh, now this one was uploaded by Baddington and also sent by Drizzer XTB. Thank you for these submissions. Let's get right into it. What the freak? Did, did he just say what you doing? He's literally saying that. What are you doing? What you doing? Nothing. What are you doing barging in here? Why are you hiding? Oh, no. Oh. Ready for a reason? That 
that was it. That is creepy. And I can also see a fan game making out of that, which would probably be really cool. Um, that was, that was quick, but uh, thank you for the submission. Let's get right into the next one. Alright, so this next one is called 10 Dark Web Videos You Should Never Watch. And this was uploaded by Chills. And this was uh, submitted by Druzer. So thank you for the submission. They say you can find anything on the dark web. Though why you would want to find any of the things mentioned on this list is beyond me. Okay. Number 10. Number 10. This 11 minute video has been making rounds on the dark web for oh, yeah, a while the and has only recently Changing come to the surface. About it. In it, something human shaped wrapped in garbage bags is taped up and kept in various strange poses. In a chair, at the bottom of steps, and so on. Every so often, a man with a bag over his head comes in and fusses with the strange object. At one point, he even tries to give it food in the bathtub, despite there being no mouth hole. Towards the end of the video, he puts the object onto the kitchen counter and begins to carve into it. This video was filmed in black and white and has many different artistic camera angles. The dark web is full of many videos like this, but I guess every once in a while you could be looking at someone who is really acting out their twisted fantasies on a real person. For all we know, this could be the aftermath of a Red Room video. Number 9. Damn. A YouTuber named Surviving Life finds a dark web subforum dedicated to the most disturbing content imaginable. I can't even show you most of the thread titles, let alone what's in them. But I'll put it like this. The people here are looking for stuff that we I want to buy a human infant? What? Going through a few pages, Surviving Life comes across one thread in particular that easily tops them all. I want to buy a human infant. I will pay any price. I don't know exactly how this person expects oh, to buy an freak? infant or how much a reasonable price is. There's Thankfully, people surviving kind of life like this does not the click on the link to find kind of out. I did psychopath. notice it seems to have 14 psychopath. replies though. Which leaves me with a terrible sinking or feeling it, or inside. Those names. Uh, they look I like think names. all of these I don't know. requests are fake, but apparently surviving life has Hold seen up. versions of this website before. Okay, and the name of this site is so infamous and the people on it. This isn't the first time they've put a site together like this. This is this is a system where these sites go up, they go down, the contents move, the ones. and provides us with some more insight about its long history. The wait, the best part, the best part about and logs off for the day. I, think that I don't the website is probably know what that even real, says, bro. I would like to get your opinion. Based that is on messed this video up. And shown here. Who would do that eight. to a dog? This grainy black and white video was supposedly taken back in 1999 when the internet was still in its early stages of development. A woman has apparently been chosen against their will for a Red Room show, which oh. is where people make suggestions as to what should happen to her next. Kind of like a more interactive version of the movie Saw. She is clearly in distress, though I'm not sure if this is real or just acting. <laughs> This scene seems realistic enough to make me uncomfortable. I'd like to get your opinion as to what is going on here. She could be a paid actress, and this could be from a movie for all I know. We may never discover the real answer, unless more of the video surfaces from the deep web. Number 7. Okay, so this is gonna be Another last supposed video. Red Room video shows a person wearing a large hood over their face, looking down at the floor. I think the room is in pitch black and this was taken with night vision. After more than four minutes of uncomfortable silence, a man dressed in all black with gloves on wakes the person up and begins talking. Try to translate what is being said here if possible, so that we can better tell what is really going on. Oops. Sorry. Where are you saying? I'm finally part of the mafia oh, what family. the freak? Oh, my Freaking ads. All right, let's get back. What is that? Dimitri? Whatever is said appears to send the hooded man into a great amount of distress. I notice that a voice changer is used, which makes me think this video could be real. 
After all, whoever is involved would want to go to great lengths to keep their identity concealed. I'm not sure what happened next, but based on the overall tone of this video, I doubt this person made it out of the room in one piece. Number six. Yeah. Alright, uh, that's gonna be the, uh, last one for this video. But not the entire, this video. Or my video. Alright. Let's uh next get on to the next one. So for the last one of this video, this is called True Bugs Bunny Horror Story Anime. And it was uploaded by Horror Shorts Party. So credit all goes to them. Let's go. Alright, so it's like yeah. The story happened about a decade ago when I was in my mid twenties. I lived alone in a quiet residential area, just outside the city of where the club district was. Moving out of my parents' house and becoming independent forced me to live a more mature lifestyle, as adulthood settled in at a fairly young age. Considering the story occurred in the mid-2000s, finding a companion was a lot more difficult than today's modern day, as the lack of apps such as Tinder was non-existent at the time. I, like I felt like I'd completely early, early. lost my social skills due to my like, odd obsession with gore videos. I had been completely hooked with such content since my high school days, as the exhilarating thrill always satisfied my adrenaline junkie cravings. No matter how what? many females I would approach throughout the months, it would always seem like they had a radar for my nervous demeanor and odd interests. I refer to a shift. One of my co-workers recommended that I check out this local gentleman's club that hosted fairly decent-looking girls. Bro, I, I don't want to go somewhere that's rated two stars. Well, if you ever want your engine running again, then you better take it for a test drive. Uh, in English, please? <sighs> Dude, if you ever want to gain your confidence back, then it's best that you go out and meet hot chicks there. I guess, but I don't... Dude. Don't worry. As always, one of these friends is going to get you a in trouble. A couple hours later, the evening had finally settled in, and it was time to hit up it's that gentleman's one friend. club that my co-worker insisted but I check don't out. Don't worry, bro. Everything's going to be fine. I remember wisely the taking your life. just because I knew the state I was going to be in from all the drinks I planned on hammering down there. As I settled into the premises, I remember oh chugging at God. least several beers while casually surveying my surroundings. Or... Should I say, the array of beautiful women around me. So, mesmerizing. What the freak? Okay, yeah, no, we're gonna skip that, okay. Oh, what the freak is it? Okay, yeah. These dancers that caught my eye. <laughs> what did I expect next? Let's that? just say I got my money's worth, just as my co-worker oh okay. predicted. Don't try to read. I eventually headed TV, out, remember bro. trying to flag down a nearby Family taxi. friendly. When I noticed an attractive female sitting curbside by herself, I noticed she had a leg brace on with crutches right next to her, which gave me the idea to pursue a conversation and possibly pick her up. I guess having an injured leg doesn't stop you from partying, does it? Not at all. Especially when I get to spontaneously meet guys like you. Oh. Dang, you're already pushing it? <laughs> What's your name? You can call me Bunny. That's what my friends call me. Hey, Bunny. Do you wanna... Your name, please? You can call me Zaddy. I, I mean, Bob. Okay, Bob. Are you looking for a good time? Hell yeah, girl. <laughs> well, you should come over to my place then. Well, the narration, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna show you why my ex used to call me the... <clears throat> the, the Punisher. That's when hey, I blink. Yo only to find myself taking a cab on the way to the bunny's house. The car ride was quite the faint memory, as my vision wasn't so vivid from the amount of drinks I had consumed at the bar. I could recall getting out of the cab and observing the rather brain. odd appearance of the bunny's home. So, I noticed right off the bat that the house was in a secluded area where the forest preserve was. I found it quite sketchy that the windows were boarded up, mm -hmm. almost like it was an abandoned house in the middle of nowhere. As we made our way inside, I could recall the house having an unpleasant stench, almost like the house hadn't been cleaned what in is weeks, on the ground? or months for that matter. What is that on the ground? I Hold up, I remember finding myself nah. laying on the bed of 
what I assumed was the boy's bedroom. House. Compared to the Sus rest of the house, chick. the bedroom looked pretty well kept. Stench. So if anything was to I don't go know, what down between us, it would make me feel more Sus. comfortable to say the Get least. Get out of there. That's when I noticed the bunny holding a large what bug's bunny freak? mask while looking at me with an unpropitious smile. Oh. Almost like she was intentionally trying to creep Damn. me out. Damn. Meet bunny. Wait, what? I said meet bunny. That what the hell grin. Are What's up, Doc? No. <laughs> Dang, I forgot. Okay, I'm just gonna die. Creep me out. Don't be scared, Bob. It's just a mask. Uh, okay. Here. Don't look at the mask. Look at the face. Okay. I remember closing my eyes and slowly beginning to fade Bro, into you the dead. darkness. Bro, you dead. Intoxicated state you dead. Completely shunned my vision. Oh, what the? Was that a fly in his mouth? This is when the story gets a little more disturbing. No. I miraculously awakened from my so-called power nap, only to hear the bunny humming an unsettling melody in the washroom. I also noticed a blinking red dot on the ceiling in front of me. Oh. As my eyes slowly began to adjust, I realized that's that a camera. camera secretly recording me while I was passed out the entire time. I also nah. noticed the bunny's crutches. This is gonna be some deep wet stuff. To the entrance of the washroom. You gonna be in the next red and room. It was quite strange that she had completely abandoned the crutches due to the fact that it was used to aid her walking the entire time. I knew it. I freaking As knew I it was fake. The washroom, I could see the bunny effortlessly standing in front of the mirror without the leg brace, wearing the same Bugs Bunny mask she had showcased earlier. She also held a huge sledgehammer close to her face while creepily gazing into the mirror uh, as if she was admiring her attire. Bro, I cautiously dip. made my way outside of the bedroom while making dip. sure I grabbed the key. Dip, let's go, bro. Recording me. As I made my way out the Let's front go. door, oh, I couldn't reference. bother with my shoes, as I felt every second was crucial for my survival. Let's go. I eventually caught a cab and successfully made it home, miraculously yeah. alive and unscathed. I decided to open the camcorder and play back the most recent footage uh -oh. recorded. I could see myself laying on the bed passed out drunk, while the bunny was most likely in the washroom. As I explored more of the footage on the camcorder, I began to notice a similar pattern with oh, several other males being secretly recorded in their sleep. People. What makes the story more disturbing was the bullet I dodged by leaving the house. I remember seeing the bunny approach oh, each male God. in a similar fashion while holding the same sledgehammer and wearing the oh. same Bugs Bunny mask I had seen her wear in our encounter. No. What she did next to these men was something oh that God. made me no I don't know if I can show us. I don't know if I can show us. Videos, Hold up. I wouldn't wish this upon my worst enemy. Oh, yeah, I'm not showing that. Nope. I'm not showing that. Oh! Okay. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> I'm not trying to get demonetized. No, thank you. Wow, okay. Uh, That was pretty good. Um... Definitely uh, some surprise in there. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. That is the last animation for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications if you are new and if you enjoyed the video. Um, and like I said, if you want to submit and you see Drew's Alive, then I maybe ask for the Discord link. Maybe I could be in the stream. Ask for the Discord link, and I will gladly give it to you if you aren't in the Discord yet, so you can submit your videos there. And without saying less, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.